Hey, this is Josh Blackburn with Link Whisper. Today I'm going to show you how to use the auto linking feature on the WordPress Premium plugin. So first thing you need to do is log into your website. Go down to you find your Link Whisper plugin on the left side here. We're going to click on auto linking. And then here we're going to put in a keyword, which I'm going to use internal link strategy. And then you can just copy and paste your URL in here. And then you can create the auto linking rule. But then you also have this gear icon with uh, some more features. Like you can add the link in the post if it already has this link. Which by default this is not selected and it's not recommended. You would just be linking to this article twice from the same article. And then here it is only link once per post, uh, which is what we want. We only want to link to the internal link strategy article one time per article. Here you can override the one link per sentence rule. So you could have one sentence that has two links. Like if you had two auto link uh, set up, like if I had a sentence that said um, a good internal link strategy, which would link to this. And then it could say is part of the on page SEO benefits to grow your organic traffic. And then this auto link would also link in the same sentence, which by default, this is not selected. Uh, we were just we're, like me personally, I just want to do one link per sentence. This feature here is cool. Like if you have too much stuff or you want to just have a little bit more control over the auto linking, you can select this and it'll give you a notification or it'll give you, it'll show you the links to be approved before they get inserted. So we can say, Hey, we found, you know, the internal link strategy and these articles, we're going to put these links in. Do you want to do it? Yes or no. Setting the priority for the auto link insertion. So again, using the same example with the internal link and on page SEO benefits, uh, for the sake of link whisper, I would rather have internal link strategy be the priority since it would fit more in line with what actually Link Whisper in, is doing uh, versus the on-page SEO benefits. So if these keywords were in the same sentence, I would choose to link to internal link strategy instead of on-page SEO benefits. So that's what that feature is. And then only add links to post, publish after a given date, uh, make keyword search case sensitive, and then restrict auto links to specific category or tags. So like here you click this, it'll drop down. So for us, our categories are blog, case study, updates, and uncategorized. Um, like I definitely don't want any auto linking in the uncategorized, like default category. And maybe like the update, so I could select, you know, restrict auto links from these categories. So that's it. And then you create the auto linking rule. And then once it goes and finds it and adds the links, it'll let you know here how many it found. At this time, there is no mention of internal link strategy that is not already linked to, which is good. But so that's it for using the auto linking feature. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment below on YouTube or you can email us at support at linkwhisper.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the channel for more videos on how to get the most out of Link Whisper.